Uh, hi guys, so I'm, I'm sorry I didn't upload any Ultimate Alliance or Space Station Silicon Valley videos. I, I've been working the past few days. I, I was off when I did those videos. I was off work. I, I've been working, so I'm sorry about that. But um, I got... I, I'm still going to do those, obvious, um, obviously. I'm still going to do those, but um, someone recommended me play 1828. So this is like a new mod. I played uh, Andrew Jackson. I haven't played uh, John Quincy Adams yet. That might take a while. Um, but Monroe's presidency was a unprecedented era of unity and bipartisanship. But when it came time to find who would succeed him, that era ended. After a messy election, John Quincy Adams, son of former President John Adams, ultimately prevailed. The tone of Adams' re-election was set when Adams appointed Henry Clay as Secretary of State and expressed support for Clay's controversial American system and his 1825 annual message to Congress. Opponents of Adams have been coalescing around the popular war hero Andrew Jackson, who aims to win a rematch against Adams. This year's election will see the advent of new, innovative campaign techniques, including memorabilia, coordination with local newspapers, and political rallies, the likes of which have never been seen before. Uh, whoever is better to be able to utilize these technologies will have a massive advantage. And so far, it seemed Jackson had the upper hand. So, Andrew Jackson, the hero of New Orleans and the man of the people, have been preparing for this election for the last three years. Uh, soon after his loss in 1824... Tennessee legislature nominated him for president in the earliest presidential nomination in American history. Since then, with his brilliant campaign manager, Martin Van Buren, Jackson has been building a party from the ground up. While Jackson has roused the people against Adams and the political elite, Van Buren has worked hard behind the scenes to build a coalition between Crawford and Calhoun supporters and former Republicans in the North and West. Uh, Jackson's followers are organized, dis disciplined, and riled with popular fervor. Uh, considering how complacent Adams has been, the election looks like a cakewalk. However, ro one wrong move and Jackson's formidable coalition can easily shatter. Now, keep in mind the 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 uh, sentence uh, uh, one one wrong move. Or the like the phrase one wrong move because yeah there's a cert there's a hidden thing in this it, it like it doesn't seem like it at first but if you answer certain questions in a pro northern way uh, your VP runs against you which is very interesting actually I like that it's a very unique um. I thought it was like just built in the game. I kind of got upset at first. Cause I thought it was like like he couldn't control it, but I understand now. If you do pro northern answers, then uh, John Calhoun runs against you, which is yeah, it's very strange. But uh, anyway, yes, yeah, pretty cool. And and he wins like Virginia. He takes away all these states. So it, there's two questions where. You have to answer in a certain way. So this is an RNG question. Um, it doesn't really affect you too much. Uh, even though it says it hurts you in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is always solid for you. So. Oh. Well yeah. It, does, it doesn't like affect you very much at all. Yeah that was the negative. So Buchanan uh, didn't support you that time. But um, with another RNG answer, he does support you. But it doesn't affect the election, though. Uh, from what I'm, I've seen, anyway. So, I want to say glorious day here. Yeah, you don't. You, you want to uh, capitalize on uh, your pop popularity. Uh, the new tariff. Say he's digging his own grave. The autocracy is too pro-southern, but the unpopular is 
Yeah, the workers in the north is too pro-northern, so. You, you don't want to be outright moderate, but you, you want to keep silent on a lot of stuff. That's what you want to do. You want to keep silent. So you want to create a, a new supporter, a newspaper that would support you. Um, attack, attack, attack. Do that. That's what Jackson, Andrew Jackson did, I think, in real life. Um, yeah, the American Patriot. Uh, and yeah, do like the neutral one. Encourage my supporters. Uh, say, conspire with Henry Clay, because the other ones are sort of sectional answers. No one cares about Rush, don't. Uh, I, I, I don't know if that's the right, I, I think it is the right answer, because the VPs, back then the vice president was insignificant, an insignificant office. Uh, you, you want to ally with him. Now, you do not want to say, um... I would no gotten. Uh, I would not go so far, even though it helps you at first. Calhoun will break off from you if if you're um. So you have to avoid the question. You can't actually answer the question. Um. So to the victor, go yeah. Do the spoil system. Uh, say voting record. Don't. Do not um. Do not say any answer for this. Same with the internal improvements one. Um, even though, even though, if you say pro northern stuff, it helps you in the south. You, uh, Calcum will go third party. So, and then you're elect, you're screwed. Then, um, say go to the gutter, drag the camp, do what, do what uh, Jackson did in real life. Uh, diplomatic, do that one. Uh, criticize it in Louisiana. I haven't, there's no guides for Andrew Jackson, so probably because it, it, after you figure out what happens with Calhoun, it's very easy. Once you figure out when how he goes third party. So I, I had to kind of make it up. I'm pretty sure this is the best way to do it, though. Um, yeah, don't talk about the bank. Uh, you want to... Uh, sorry about that, guys. I, I got interrupted there. Um, so... This one, yeah, be removed. Um, yeah, strike back at him. Uh, federal money. Uh, yeah. Uh, we must, yeah, we must attack. Yeah, how are we doing? Yeah, New York's always really close from what I've seen. Uh, ample resources. Uh, minor organization. Uh, yeah, I'd say really. And where you want to go to is New York. So, hopefully we can win New York. We probably will. Pennsylvania is never close, even, even like I said, even though that RNG event's here, it's never close. I, like I, and I also, like I said, I haven't played Adams, so Adam, uh, John Adams is going to be a lot harder. Especially because in real life, jo uh, John Quincy Adams lost in a landslide to Jackson. Okay, one New Jersey. That's that's not good. Okay. Okay. Okay, actually, yeah, that's good. So, 
The magnitude of your triumph will be remembered for years to come. You have been elected by an absolute landslide on your inauguration day. A large party is thrown in the White House, attended not by career politicians, landed elites, or businessmen, but by real, honest, common Americans, while the elites denounce your supporters as a drunken mob. The message is clear. The people are now in control of the country. Along with your victory, your supporters have gained large majorities in both houses of Congress. You will be able to pursue whatever domestic agenda you wish. It is clear, however, there is one institution left in the country, still controlled by the elite, that will be your target for the next four years. So they're talking about the National Bank, I think. Your victory comes at a cost, however, your beloved wife Rachel has passed away, undoubtedly due to the slanderous allegations from the Adams campaign. It will be tough, but hopefully you'll be able to move on for a loss and govern effectively over the next four years. With luck, you'll, you will not only win in 1832, but revolutionize politics for the next few, few decades. Good luck, Mr. President. So how do, how do we do compared to real life? Oh, uh, we did, well, we did worse. And I still won by a landslide, though. I want to see New Jersey. I, I guess... I guess, um... Um, Jackson won New Jersey in real life, I, I'm guessing. I don't know. Or maybe Maryland. No, Ohio. He, he probably won Ohio in real life. That's what probably happened. I'm not sure how to do that though, but um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you like, comment, subscribe, that'd be appreciated. Next time I'm doing John Quincy Adams, and then I'm back to playing uh, Ultimate Alliance, and then unless someone recommends me another campaign trail, if you have another specific one, uh, I'll do John Quincy Adams next. But anyway, uh, see you guys later.